assalamu alaikum my name is dr tayyab uh, i have made this endo trainer box myself it is very easy and uh, simple to make as you can see come closer this is the medisol infusion solution box in which drip sets come so as uh, you can see all around i have modified this box and i have given it a shape all around like the contour of the abdomen and uh, i have used jimsa bond and alfi to fix this box let's have a look inside i will show you all these things later on with endoscopic view I have created different sizes of ports here according to the position principles like this is the 10 mm port this is also 10 mm and these are 5 mm Now we are all set our box is in position and I have applied a belt over it to fix it and this is our LCD I am using 30 degree HD telescope for my endo trainer because I have it in my theater but this smart car rear camera can also be used instead of telescope if you don't have it it is uh, small and can be moved around in the endo trainer easily and you can attach it at the end of anything having the length of 35 to 40 cm and the diameter of 10 mm like these uh, wooden sticks but i would prefer the iron or steel pipe because the wire of the camera can be passed through the pipe easily and it it won't create any problem like here i have uh, edited this picture and uh, i have shown the camera attached at the end of this iron pipe and this is your telescope Finally you can install any light or bulb in the endo trainer as a replacement of light source I am going inside I am taking inside my camera These are the instruments we will be using So this is the inside view of my endo trainer This is the silicone very soft silicone I have bought it from the market and this is the form I have anchored a blood set needle and syringe caps here is another silicone piece and this is the perfume bottle cap this is uh, shown the pelvis where I have incised the peritoneum and I will try the knotting uh, and uh, I will close the peritoneum here this is showing the peritoneal incision of tap this is air filled glove that is showing many appendixes and uh, the appendectomies can be tried over it this is the sectoral view in which we perform the appendectomy so there are many appendixes and this is the roof that is showing the interior abdominal wall i have incised the peritoneum over here both in vertical and horizontal direction to try the knots and uh, closing the peritoneum this is 5 cc syringe and i am going to insert it in the bevel of blood set needle so very fine movements can also be performed in this endo trainer you see previously i told this is the perfume bottle cap you can store different objects in it like this is small piece of plastic pipe and uh, i am inserting it over the needle cap so you can make the uh, this endo trainer as your own desire you can put different objects in it you can do different movements all these movements and rehearsals will improve your skill now to the best of my knowledge and skill i will show you how to 
tie a knot intracorporeal knot so the ideal suture length should be 20 cm for smooth knotting and uh, there are different methods to hold the needle with needle holder one is you grasp the thread with left hand about 3 to 4 cm from the needle and uh, suspend it in the air the needle will automatically uh, get oriented and you can just hold the needle with needle holder like this and you can also reverse the needle by putting it over some intraperitoneal uh, structure and sliding it from one side to other this thread it is uh, hard near the needle and so it is not getting reversed but it can be easily reversed and you can also adjust the needle within the jaw of the needle holder like this by moving from one way to another way and can adjust its direction now coming towards taking the bite hold the needle at the junction of two third and one third and do the wrist movement and after taking the bite from one side hold it with the left hand instrument and then guard the tissue with the needle holder like this and pull the thread Put the needle to the right side so that it will make the configuration of a C. You can also pull the remaining part and just leave the short segment of the end behind. So when taking the first node, there should be English letter C configuration and hold the thread at an adequate distance to avoid too short or too long loop so this is the surgeon's knot and when you are going to catch the short end with your left hand instrument both the instruments the left hand instrument and needle holder should be moving in with parallel to each other synchronously to prevent any pull over the thread or uh, the accidental uh, unwinding of the loop and when tying the knot keep the tail end there and only pull the long end if you pull the tail you go to the jail it will avoid undue tissue tension and lengthening of the tail end now for the second knot to complete the surgeon's knot take the needle end towards the left side so it will make the configuration of a reverse C and it is necessary to make the square knot that is secure knot. Proper handling of both instruments is very important to make the successful knot. Like you see here it is unsuccessful knot attempt because my left hand instrument was not facing upside down. If the curved side is facing down then the thread is lifted upside and you can easily make the knot and like this is the successful knot. Loop can be easily made and then again both instruments should go side by side to pick the short end and only pull the long end when you are sure that the knot is tied then you can pull both hands and when cutting the long thread the curved side of the scissor should be facing toward you to prevent any inadvertent tissue injury